what do you think about Brexit? Oh, funny you should bring it up. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think about it? Do you know what I mean? Oh. How's it, gonna, how's it affecting you, or do you think it's going to affect your life and your family's life? Oh, I personally think it's going to affect anybody. I don't think it's going to affect anyone. I think it's all bullshit. It is. But do you know what? You just crack on and get it done. Let's get the pound stronger, and then we can go to America and have more money. The people voted to leave the EU. Yeah. Why on earth are we still here? Because of 600 people. That's why. Who's 600 people? All the MPs. Oh, right. But no, they don't. I don't think they know what they're doing, to be honest with you, Nick. Oh. I don't trust any of them. But you oh. said to me this morning you would like to go and... I would like to take over. <laughs> Get rid of all of them. I'd go in there, I'll st- keep the speaker and me. Yeah. Maybe even get the Queen in there just so she could have a little listening. I'd say it ain't hard. It's not a hard thing. For, for me, you know, I would say let the Queen have the last say. I like that. I like that. Yeah. Because I can respect the Queen. If she comes and says it's ain't good. Exactly. Or do you know what? You're right. But, but, I don't know, I just... You know, everyone in this country, when, the, when someone joins the military, or the police, or any armed forces, they swear allegiance to the Queen. Yes. Right? So, she should have the last say of what goes on in our government, and if our fucking government doesn't agree, off with their heads. <laughs> off, yeah, give it, yeah. Off of their heads. Ta-da. You know, give it a... But no, I think... It's, young people don't understand travel. What do you mean? You know, they're like, oh, we're not going to be able to go to Europe. Yeah, you can. You can actually go to Europe. Just get on a plane. There's going to be no difference. If you've got to fill in a visa on a plane, fill yeah. it in. If you want to go there, you fill it in. When I moved to the US, I needed a visa. Did the travel visa. I wanted to need an athlete visa. Paid the money and I've done it. I think the people in big business who are exporting and importing across, the, across the, uh, Europe, they're the people who are worried about, you know, prices, fluctuation in the, in the, in the price of euro to the pound. Well, yeah, no, that's that's that's, that's no, that's a fair point, and that, that they could be affected by it, and they will, well, probably will be. But this 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 isn't just about them; it's about everyone. Exactly. So it's good to take the rough with the smooth. It's going to be good for some, and certain exactly. areas just, they're going to struggle. But it's going to be good in other areas. But look how many people were out on the streets of London on Saturday, yeah, wanting another vote. Over a million people came to London, and they protested while Boris was in Parliament trying to, you know, rally his troops to vote for um, a smooth exit. But they just rent, rent a mob. Rent a mob? Rent a mob. No, not one million. It was, or rent a mob. No. One, one, that's a lot, that is a lot of people to hit the streets to say, we want another chance to vote. Did you see? But the trouble is, there's probably 10 million, 20 yeah. million wanting Get out. Everyone, everyone wants to leave. Out. It's a fact. Everyone wants to. Yeah. We're going to leave. We're going to leave. There's a lady. She's handcuffed herself under a truck. They've gone under there. They've said to her, "What are you doing?" She goes, "Let's get things in perspective." Hold on. You've handcuffed yourself to the bottom of someone's truck. <laughs> you know what I mean? What's going on here? What was the truck moving? No, it weren't. But it could, it could quite easily have been. Right. But I think so. What Where was doing? the truck? In London. Well, it was parked in London. What, and she wanted to what? Stay or go? She wanted to stay. She wanted to stay. Well, you know. What happened to her? Was she arrested and... I don't know. She's already out. She's already out. Yeah. 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 <laughs> you know, but that no, is getting ridiculous. I, I, I don't I mean, I'm not into politics. I don't even know what I'm talking about when it comes to politics, but... No. I'm very... I'm old-fashioned. I think we should leave Europe and uh, do our own thing. We should leave it. And the, the quicker we leave, the quicker we do f- uh, free trade, US, Canada, you know, all the other countries, then you're going to come back to us because they're going to want a piece of the pie. But then we're they can, they can do their own thing anyway. Anyone yeah. can trade who, whoever they want to trade with. But then they're going to want to join us. But we're just going to be the hub. So we're, we're going to be the, the new. Listen, England ruled the, ruled the world 100 years ago. Yeah. You know, what has happened now, I'll never know. Well, it's a... Tell you what, if everyone get, gets themselves the, the trouble is, our, our queen has been told to give our empire back. Yeah. You know, so we had we had bits of India, Africa, Asia, China. You know, we, yeah. we were everywhere, but now. Yeah. 
Yeah, There's no but, power, is there? You know, I can't wait. I can't wait to leave. I don't think it's going to affect us at all. No. You know, the, the business over 2018, 2019 has been a little bit slower, but people now are just fed up of it. Wow. You, know, our, our, you know, this last six months, the business has picked up. People are fed up hanging around. People are want, want to do their houses up. People want to move. The, the reason why people aren't very proactive at the moment moving in, in primary of London is because the stamp duty is high. Yeah. So they'd rather stay where they are, refurb their kitchens, refurb their bathrooms, expand their houses by digging basements under, under their house or doing loft conversions. But, yeah. Perfect. I don't, I don't see our banks in Canary Wharf closing down yeah. and moving to other parts of Europe just because, and you know, we, we, we've left the EU. After everyone wants to man up a little bit and put in some effort, you know, this is what's happening. If we have a bit of a down spiral, <laughs> pick yourself up and get up. You know, flash yourself yeah. off and get up again. That's what you've got to do. Mm. It's tough. It could be tough, but... What does you your parents think? What do they want? Well, I think that they... I think they're they, the same as you? They're the same as me, really. What? Leave. Leave. Well, my stepdad, he wants to, he wants to, he wants to remain. Right. Oh, yeah. He wants to remain. God knows why, because he's a washing machine engineer. It's yeah. not going to affect his <laughs> styles at all. But, um, but a lot of people, a lot, the problem is, there's a lot of trends. You know, people try to be trendy. So mm. a lot of people, probably, the young ones, they vote, or well, they're voting, stay. The bankers do. Oh, look at me, I live in London. Let's vote with the bankers. No, no one gets shit, you know what I mean? Stop trying to act so cool and do what you want to do instead of following everyone else. That's what I say, you know. And, and what about your 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 mates? What do they, do they sort of comment on what they think? And some yeah, but I, I do like I do like an argument about this whole thing. The remain and the leave. Mm. I think it's fantastic. Mm. I've, I've had some real really good arguments with my friends. And some I ain't spoke yeah, to ever again. What? What the hell? What the hell is Jeremy Corbyn all about? He's like a fucking misfit. He's bad news. He's, he is like um, Steptoe and Son. You know, in 1980s there was a program with Steptoe, and he is Steptoe. He is. Rag and bone man. He is. He's the type of guy that will wring out his flannel too tight to get it too dry, and he he pull his back, and he sued a flannel company. Tell me, yeah. My God, think? how has he become leader of the opposition? I've never known. I don't know. He, he can't. I can't. I can't figure him out. He's just, I when he sits there, his arguments back are so weak. I don't know how much you watched the other day. I've done four hours. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't get I watched work. another four hours as well. Didn't get no work not. done. <laughs> and it was Saturday, but, but it was... Now did Tuesday as well. He did Tuesday as well. Monday, Tuesday. Was it Monday? Yeah, I don't know what that was. Tuesday probably, Wednesday, whatever. But, but I know, but... Tuesday. What about Boris? I like Boris. I like Boris. I love Boris. Uh, he's his what uh, how he presents himself he just he, he just projects the, the message straight away never fluffs a line no doesn't answer a lot of questions I don't like that yes he is cr he's a bit scatty but you know when I, when he gets asked questions he don't answer them. what about that car it's a bit nice isn't it uh, like that Connor <laughs> what's that a five it's not a five nine it's like the it's like the, the new five nine nine isn't it personally if I got money I wouldn't buy a Ferrari that's probably a lot for it. 350? A, no, I think that's the 458. No. It's not a 458. You sure? Yeah, it's not a 458. That's, that, was, that was like uh, a, a front engine. God, I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, Boris. Can't knock his hair, though. Uh, you know, I mean. Uh, well, oh, that's crazy. It's wild. <laughs> Is that why you like him? Because of his hair? I, I, I can, I, you know, I, can, I can respect a good airline, you know. <laughs> yeah, I'll tell you now, you know, yeah. when you start losing your hair. Yeah. When do you start losing your hair? A few years ago. You look at every man's airline. It's a weird thing. I don't know, you do. You I think, never look at any man's hairline. Well, I'm telling you what, you think he's got a good airline. And you see him a week later. My hairline is like, it starts here. <laughs> <laughs> I know, there's nothing to worry it about. Me. You know, you look good with it. Yeah, but it's still, it's still, it makes you look older and bold and wrinkly, but don't no, worry about no, it. No, I do worry, you know. Some people have got the Benjamin Button airline. What's that? 
just keep getting better and better. <laughs> grows forward. Yeah, because they go and have top ups, don't they? Every six months, you know, i.e. all the celebrities like Gordon Ramsay and Beckham. Yeah. They just go in for a little top up, you know, put another fifty puck in the hair bit. I think he's definitely he's definitely had his wagon done. Who? Beckham. Beckham, hundred percent. No, he looks good, looks good. I like it. Well you're gonna have yours done, aren't you? Yeah, mine done. I'm gonna take a picture of Beckham in there with me. Oh yeah. So yeah, I want that. How long do you have it? Long have it long. Long. Now I wanna get my hands, I wanna run it through my hair like the old days. Me I wanna just come out of the ocean. Well, California just you know. Is that what you should do? <laughs> like a bay watch, come out of the bay. ocean and just well, it was in my eyes. I haven't done that for years. It was mate. in my eyes. I had to get out of my eyes. Yeah. You know? When it's wet you can't blow it. Yeah, so you've got to use your hands. Put it back. Uh, right. So when you, are you going to go and have yours done? It'll be done for Christmas. What, you, you're going to have it done? Yeah. Happy Christmas to me. I've Happy had a, Christmas. I've had a rough year. <sighs> yeah. What should we talk about now? What should we save it for another day? I don't know. I don't know. Got the mag, got the brochure done. Is That's that the that? sort of speed we work at, Nick. You know what I mean? It's really good. It does very nice, doesn't so, it? So when, they, when you give them the green light, how long does it take to print? Five days. Five days. Four to five days. So if you, if you get the price, let's pull the trigger, get them ordered, and then we get the um, I think we private more. postman to yeah. pick them up from there. Yeah, I think we should go more than 5,000. Yeah. We'll do that then. 10, 15. Ron, I've got to go, I've got to get some more stuff done. I've got to do a bit myself then, eh? You sure? I don't know.